One of the major changes that were noted is the fact that the first leg of matches was concluded in just a matter of eight weeks, the first time this has ever happened. Everything has advantages and disadvantages, but I can tell you that we had serious problems this time around because this usually applies to teams with weak rosters. It can be very hard to manage with some players injured, others on suspension. You might find yourself short by as many as five or six players. With such a schedule to keep, it becomes difficult. Playing close to eight games in a month and an extra seven in the next, injuries and fatigue are bound to set in. I would not be surprised if you asked around and found that many teams most likely face such problems. From a technical standpoint, I believe that is a major hindrance. This leg was unique in that it was decided that away matches were all to be played by the 21st of December and all breaks and resumptions were actually respected. The leg also saw many coaches either fired or resign, following poor performances from their teams which experts say was related to the tight schedule that saw little room for rest. Officials at Ferguafa, Rwanda's football governing body, however, argue that keeping a strict schedule like that helped teams stay within their budget, unlike postponements in the past that meant higher expenses. Officiating during matches also raised a few eyebrows, with some claiming that there was favouring in some instances or complete ignorance on the part of some match officials, which again has been refuted by Ferguafa's match officiating committee, which says some individuals think they know how games are refereed when they really do not. Certain other issues have also been noted in the league, such as the fact that not all clubs have junior clubs, as regulations require. 120 games were played during the first leg, and a total of 284 goals were scored. 451 cards were also shown, 427 yellow, 24 red. Two cases presented to Ferguafa over officiating were deemed valid and the culprits punished. Game venues saw greater security measures enforced and two teams moved up from the second division, Kasoji United and Heroes FC.